Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quanchua's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. Thanksgiving is around the corner and I'm about to do my table skip. I thought to share with you. So come along and let's do this. I'm starting off by clearing my table. This is the decor that I've had for a while on here just to be in the fall mood. But I'm going to take that off, clean my table so we can start with our actual 2021 Thanksgiving table skip. <music> just unrealistic to be buying new tableware every year or every now and then so I like to just play around with what I have so this year instead of using my placemats as placemats I'm going to be using a few of them as a table runner I'm now going to set down my plate chargers these are crystal beaded very elegant I think they're pretty gorgeous it matches whatever theme you are trying to do and goes so beautifully with my dinnerware and my flatware so the ones that I had previously I'd had them for like 10 years and they were just a set that completed my uh, grand buffet set and after nine years and a lot of changes in how tables are set these days I got these to make it a little bit more trendy I'm setting down my dinner plates now accent plates is one way for you to also change things out a little bit so I got these plates so that I would not use my traditional salad plates that came with my set so I've switched them around and using these salad plates instead just to bring a little bit of layering a little bit of vibe to my tablescape and I think it really worked well so here are my dinner napkins I got gold because I wanted to have a little bit more gold the napkins to match the accent plate and my charger as well as my flatware. I love to personalize things so for this year I'm going to put placeholders. I actually got this uh, after Thanksgiving 2019 hoping to have used it last year but thanks to COVID of course that, that didn't happen so I'm going to be using it this year and I'm just going to set one on top of my napkins like this. And I'll put a little message for everybody with their name as well. That would be nice I think. So I actually decided to change how I'm setting my napkins on my table. So I'm going to actually use my napkin rings. But that is another thought that I wanted to put it here for you. So in case you don't have napkin rings or you wanted to do something different, you would do it. But I had these napkin rings that I really wanted to use. These are Martha Stewart. And it was on sale in Macy's this year. So I got that for like $10 or so. Not bad at all for a set. So my napkin has gold. Uh, embroidery on it so I'm trying to maximize uh, a lot of the gold trying to show more of the gold because those are the accents that go with everything I got it purposefully for the gold so I want more of it to show I'm just trying to fold it you know it's just you're trying to almost like do it in an accordion way and then slide your napkin ring right through it just like this fan it out and you have your little bow it is pretty it's a lot of couples coming in here of course so we have uh, ladies <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to put a little bit of beauty more a little bit of feminine but I think it's nice that the men will also appreciate it it makes it a little bit more special I think and making sure that everything lays perfectly beautiful because if you are taking the time to do this you might as well make sure that it is perfect so it's a little bit of time but it gets there and that is the more reason you should be doing this maybe a day ahead so you have time to concentrate on other things. You want to place your flatware in the order that they will be used with the ones you use first going on the outer part of your plate. So my knife definitely to my right you want to place it inwards and then the cutting part facing your place setting. I'm going to have my spoon so there will be dessert so the dessert spoon and then the tablespoon. Your dinner fork and your dessert fork will go on your left and here again the knife you want the cutting part inwards like I said 
You don't need a teaspoon if you're not going to serve anything that requires uh, a teaspoon as well as a tablespoon. We'll have soup and we'll probably have some form of a pudding or custard. So I have my dessert spoon as well. And that is it. You want to follow this because if you are doing it, you want to make sure that you are following the right protocol. This is just basic and you want to do it and do it the right way. For your glasses, you want to place them. If you are going to have your water glasses, that will go right above the knife. I'm not setting with my water glass, so I'm just using my wine glasses. I have my red wine first, that's the little bit of a wider, bigger one. And then my white wine glass, I'm going to place it outwards. So it's totally up to you. I think people will just be drinking water and they'll bring their water glasses to the table with them. So I'm not going to set that there. I'm just trying to make more room. So if you are doing that, the water glass definitely above your knife if you want to do it the proper way. So now that I've decided this is how I'm going to have my napkins, I'll place my placeholders here like that. Add my name card, something simple but gives it a little bit of a personalized feel. And then I'll set out my lights. I like the warmth and coziness that lights brings to the table. So I'm going to have tea lights as usual. This year I'm using these Hurricane tea light holders and I'm just going to place a tea light in each one of them and when it's lit it's just beautiful and just brings a lot of warmth and coziness and a little bit of vibe and a touch of elegance and elegance is what we are really trying to achieve anyway. <laughs> For my floral arrangement, which is going to be the actual centerpiece, I'm going to be using this soup terrain. This is from Martha Stewart. I've had it for six years. You won't find this one on the market these days. It is uh, just so beautiful, elegant with the gold touch, but I'm going to try and find similar ones in length for you. So I filled it with some water and I have my flowers ready. I got these from Sam's Club two days before. So I just started in a bucket of water just to keep it fresh for when I'm making this video. and. I got the extra greens because greens make your flowers just voluminous. It just makes it pop some more. And I wanted to have this wide, you know, it's a long table and this is going to be the only floral arrangement. So I wanted it to fan out as much as possible. So I'm trying to measure my stems, make sure that I get a decent length of it. So I put a few in my vase just to make sure, or my soup terrain, just to make sure that the length was right. And I'm using that to go ahead and cut everything. So your flowers normally come with your flower food. So I want my flowers to stay as fresh as possible. So I'm going to put two here. I actually used one previously whilst the flowers sat for the two days. So two in here, mix it up, and then I'm going to start arranging my flowers. Just starting with some of my greens for the base, and then we'll continue. an obsession for eucalyptus stems so I'm trying to make sure that I put as many of them in here as possible <laughs> I think they just make everything more beautiful so with this arrangement as you can see I'm just trying to go around trying to make sure that every part of my vase is just looking beautifully arranged this is going to be a centerpiece remember we're going to have people sitting all around the table so this is not like a regular uh, floral arrangement that you're probably just going to set it behind the wall so you just want to focus on the front part and the sides. Every part of this arrangement has to look beautiful. So yeah, you want to make sure that once you're done, you still, you know, just stand away from it all, at all angles. Make sure that it is really how you want it. It takes a while. Don't be fooled with how, you know, uh, home influencers just arrange uh, stuff on Instagram. It looks like it was just straight up within seconds. It's done. No, a lot of work goes into it, making sure that it's looking the part, you know, for you to really think that this is a statement piece. And that is what we're trying to achieve. So, yeah, I think you're getting there. I'm just trying to move stuff around a little bit, making sure that I have a perfect balance of all the different kinds of flowers and make this just as beautiful as I possibly can. We are not professionals, but we can only try. 
Floral arrangements on holidays like this are just ridiculously priced. So if you can do this at home and also use a vase that you truly love, I think it's just a win-win situation. And look at how this transforms the general outlook of this table. A real touch of elegance. I just love this. Not having all the components of your tablescape to be of the same height just makes everything even more beautiful. So I'm going to be adding some tippet candles. So these are my candlesticks and they go from tall to short on either side of the vase. That way you're not just looking at everything at eye level, but you have a little bit of depth and height to everything. And I'm going to place these um, velvet pumpkins that I found in TJ Maxx, I think, here, very inexpensive. I think it was $5 each. I had it styled around my house and I thought they would be nice on the table. So I'm going to put my candlesticks in here. I got this paste that helps your candlestick to stick and stay in the holder because sometimes if it's not very well fitted, it can fall over, it can make it wobbly a little bit and then your candle will drop drip so this way i'm going to make sure that my candlesticks are just stuck here and they're not moving or going anywhere you notice how this just transforms everything it makes everything not just at one level at all angles of the table this is just beautiful this way I'm going to place in the rest of my place cards and our table will be set this is actually the adult table I always create a table for the kids right across from us so I do that the night before Thanksgiving and they just sit right across from us so we are all interacting with the kids but it's just going to block the hallway if I do it way ahead of time I also want to add that most of the stuff I have here, I've had them for years. Doing this is something that I really love, so I'm very intentional about it. I get most of my stuff on clearance at the end of every holiday. In order for your candles not to drip when you light them, you want to trim the wick to be as short as you possibly can. So that is what I'm doing. I don't even think I trimmed the very first one enough. That way it's not going to drip and also it helps it not to be... Uh, emitting a lot of smoke. So I've been having a lot of questions, especially on Instagram about these mirrors. We've had them for as long as we've lived in this house. One of the model homes we toured had it. It was even longer. It was more like doors. Ours is more like a window and I just fell in love with it. So <laughs> I tagged my husband to find it. You know, when a pregnant woman asks for something, she really normally gets it. So I got it. He went to different home goods. We found one together and then the others, he just went around until he got them. You can get it online, but it's going to be more expensive. So <laughs> if I can find it for cheaper, definitely that is what I'm doing. These pine cones were in my artificial flower arrangements that I had on the table before I did this. And I thought they were going to add a little bit more of elegance. So I put them in here and I like it. So I'm going to give you a feel of the vibe I'm trying to achieve with these candles. We're going to light everything so you know how it's going to be on that day. The tall candles will be lit, but I'm going to just blow them out after we get seated and we're just going to have our little individual candles going on with dim lights if possible. Well, I hope this is useful to you this Thanksgiving and beyond. Whenever in the nearest future you are going to be hosting family and friends, I hope this is a nice resource that you can follow. on. I also have a lot of tried and tested recipes from previous hostings that I know will be perfect for your gathering. So kindly check them out. I'm going to link them for you as well. If you have a table this beautiful, then definitely you need a lot of deliciousness to serve your company with. Just know that when I count my blessings, I count each one of you as well. 
I thank you for your subscriptions, for your views, for your likes and your shares, and for trying my recipes and coming back to me with feedback that just makes my heart so warm. It is an honor to be able to impact your life and your families. And I most certainly do not take that for granted. I am thankful for the opportunity to do what I love and share it with all of you. I hope you and your family and friends have an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope that at the table you are all able to find reasons to be thankful. And if for some reason this year hasn't been the greatest, I hope next year you have lots of reasons to be thankful. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.